Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, everybody, to Unzip Melodies every Thursday evening and afternoon. Depends where you are in the world. And um, we have obligated ourselves to be here. And <laughs> But we are welcoming you all to come in. Welcome, Michelle. Hola. How are hey, you? Hey, how are you? I'm good. You got a little breeze going on, I see. Uh, yeah, don't let it fool you. I'm, I'm cooking. <laughs> so how are you doing today? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. It's funny. You know, the week seemed like it went, like, super fast. And then they got to Thursday and went to a halt. I'm like, uh, okay, let's speed it up. Let's go. Hey, everybody that's coming in. Welcome to our yeah, live. Hey, um, hey, everybody. Repeat, I repeat, um, what do you say? Viewers. Repeat, viewers, uh, supporters. Yeah. Welcome. Yes, yes, yes. Glad to see you again. And all to our new people coming out. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. It's funny. I'm seeing so many, um, People Hola. doing doing sessions and stuff, um, live interviews and things. Yeah. Like that. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let them do it. Yeah, I noticed that too. So. It's all good. It's place to be. <laughs> yes, hey. come join us. Hi. Um, I got in this really? morning, but what? What? Oh no! I was, I was oh. trying to share yeah, a post. Yeah, I just got in. My phone was, was great. It was really a good flight. My only a little bit turbulence, and my neighbor was pretty decent. Um, it was great. Uh, I mean, I slept. I don't sleep much on the plane. I maybe I always doze off for maybe twenty minutes or so, maybe even a may, the most an hour. Um, I I'll watch be out. movies because I'm very anxious on planes. Very anxious. I'm like. Ugh. But it was good. It landed, and um, it wasn't so hot today. But it's supposed to get hotter and hotter. Welcome, everybody that's coming in. Welcome to Unzip Melody. Yes. Where we just let it. Hey, everybody. We just being ourselves. All hang out. When we have a topic to talk about, we talk about. Uh, but my past three weeks, I've been traveling, and so I was trying to show y'all Hawaii, then home. I was home. Yeah, home. So now I'm back. And then when you was um, doing that show, that that was like the first week. That oh, yeah, that all, was um, Amsterdam. Yeah, Amsterdam? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Amsterdam. Right, it was so loud, right? Um, yeah, but it's been good. Glad to be back in Berlin. I mean, I'm not, like, happy. Cause I, and I would love to be home all, about, all the time. <laughs> But I'm glad that hey cuz sorry I missed you. Um <laughs> Yeah, but I, I'm glad to be here in my place and just being me and so I laid down for a couple hours and then I got up and I said I wasn't gonna eat but I need to eat. And I had to get my mind back into my whole intermittent fasting because guess what? I didn't do it while I was home. When I'm home, I'm going <laughs> I'm getting everything I don't get. Trust that. <laughs> uh, did, but, did you get your crab legs while you was on? No. no. Dude, I thought about yeah, that. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, uh, I think it was last night. I was like, hey, we didn't have no seafood. Nope. I had my, I, I did have some. I didn't, but it's okay. But I had a great time being home and oh, okay. Um, seeing people, even though I had to go to a funeral while I was home, uh, but I was glad that I was home to actually go to the funeral. So that was great. But Hawaii was amazing. I suggest everybody. I, I, I can't stress it enough. First of all, if you don't have a passport, get your get passport. Number yes. One. Yes. Number one, get your passport. 
and then travel. <laughs> put your money, put some money to the side. Like when I get like five euros or change, I put it in this bin. I just put it, throw it away, throw it away. And that could be spending money or whatever, or rainy day money. But you can save. You never know. I mean, you just yes. do it. Just do it. If you have to give it to somebody to hold, do it. Because I know when I try to save money, I, I, That's know, real. Where, I know where the money is. And it's always calling me. Spend right, me. right. Yo, that's that's <laughs> that's that's a serious topic. Yeah, honey. Save it. I can it's put hard. it. I can put it in the bank. I can put it in a drawer. It's 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 definitely some. You got to change your mindset to say like, okay, I I, I have somewhere I want to go. I have something I want to do. And then you have to say, I do it, so that you can like save with me, boy. I be like, I be looking to spend. I be like, ooh, five dollars. Wait a minute, what do I need to spend this five dollars on? What bills can I pay? <laughs> and I get it, I get it, but it all starts with our mind. Everything I be doing, like, it starts with our mind, our mindset, how we thinking, how we approaching yes. things. It's all about our mindset. That's why we definitely have to have our mind right. together. That's what the Bible says, you know, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So it's not about, you know. Yes. Um, if we really think about Jesus, you know, Jesus was more human than some of these holy, sanctified, over sanctified folk <laughs> are. That people can't approach you. Yes. But people, I mean, he yes. accepted all types of people. So that's what I said. Let's have this mind. Right. Let's first, first and foremost, let's have this mind. That mind. Get our minds in check. Get our minds right. in check. And, you know, I have to tell myself all the time, I have to save change as well that's right um i always have to get my mind in yeah. check because sometimes if you just sit and think you can be messing yourself up a lot of times i i oh. think to overthink things big time and i mm -hmm. have to tell you dre check your thoughts check your thoughts you know really mm -hmm. because you know even when i said i'm gonna be celibate and then the, the feelings start coming i'm like i have to keep my mind focused I have to, even when i get up you're celibate you can do this. You can you can hold out. You can right, right. be better. You know, use that energy to something else. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's true because I mean like the the whole mindset thing, you know, it you I I have not just thoughts, I have conversations and sitcoms up in my mind sometimes. Like I'm like I I get mad at people. I'm like, why are you mad at them? That was something you fabricated in your mind thinking of what they was thinking about they wasn't even thinking they know they ain't even said nothing about it you right. sitting over here all by yourself you done made right. a whole show right honey if, if somebody could put a uh, recorder in my mind and just look at some of the shows i got i'd probably be a millionaire right there I, i'm telling you <laughs> i'm telling write that stuff down michelle you're a writer so write the things down seriously it, it all begins from a with a thought and the thing is, what you, you right. do with that thought right. makes the difference. So you can be just a thought, right. or you can make it into action you know, and really push it. We all have all the money we need in this life. It's already the ideas have already been in implanted us. in us. Yes, yeah. We always yes. waiting. Let, let yes. me, let me, see, let me, let me um, wait for somebody to knock on my door. Every man knock on my door and <sighs> come on, stop, stop fooling yourself. Yes, really. Think yes. about what you, the thoughts that we have, have in our minds and in, in our hearts that we're allowing just to die out and they can make us wealthy. They can make us better. Right. They can help other people. You know, because I keep saying, and I started a thing years ago called um, Healing Music Ministry, a healing, healing mm. music seminar. And uh, I started it and then locations became a problem. Then people want to change rehearsals onto the date that I'm having. Mm -hmm. There's nothing normally going on any Tuesdays. Then all of a sudden everybody mm -hmm. want to change right. the, day, the rehearsal Tuesday. So people who had to, that want to attend the seminar have to go to the rehearsals because they've obligated themselves before. So I'm like, so, but I, that's still in my mind because I really want to take um, Hey, I'm telling you. Hey, I want to take a, a, another, a course about um, music therapy. I really want to do uh, okay. Okay. To even already what God has given me to even hands it with other technical things, because I believe music right. music passes all barriers and music can heal and will heal. 
and we just avail ourselves. Some yes. People just, you know, when you people get all anti, and you play some music that calms the people down, you know, you have to know what mm -hmm. sends it to the spirit and when to know which music to play, what when to do it. So I need to, I want to enhance right. that um, and get back to it. That's a thought that came in my mind. And then I could have left it, you know, I started it, but I started to continue with it. Because there are people waiting. Right. It's not so much about the money. It's about there's people that need this benefit. Right. Right. No, I agree because that's just like the um, wine and words, you know? Like, oh, honey, yeah, yeah. And, and it's funny because, like, not even talking about that, going back to what you said about having it all inside of you, you know, that was, like, part of the message on Sunday. Like, you know... God already gave us access. It's, we're the key. Like, you know, people are already thinking about, about other people and, like, you know, how can we tap in or how can they tap in So or how can I reach this person or whatever. Just do what he told you to do and the people will come. Like what I said, if you build it, they will come. If you just step out on faith and do what it is that he gave you, he will open up all the doors and make that, make that um, I guess, uh, opportunity available, you know, for you to connect to who you connect to, because I, I mean, not just music, but even, even like people that are chefs, look how many chefs there are, but there are still new chefs coming out right. and they are making a, a mark in the world. And you're like, oh, well, there's already enough people to do that, but no, there's not you. You're, you're right. not there doing it. So if you're not there doing it, it's not enough. If, if God put that in your heart and, and told you to do it, step out and try it because you are hindering your blessings. And then you say, oh, I want to take care of my family. You can't take care of your family if you're not going to show them how to stand and step out on faith to do what, right. they, what you want to do. So, Right. And now get off my little soapbox. <laughs> to the right. be small and less than that you can't add nothing because of your thinking for yes. we have to change our thinking condition our mm -hmm. minds to think better and higher not to be conceited there's one thing of being conceited yes. but loving yourself enough to know that you are worth more than what you <clears throat> than you're accepting no matter what size you are yes. how how dark you are how light you are if your hair is straight if it's kinky what it doesn't matter there's something special about each and every one of us. And we have to remember that we are special. We are special. We were beautifully and wonderfully made for a certain purpose in this. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> every drop. Yes. Whatever. I'm available for whatever, wherever, however. Because I want him to be pleased and I want my, my my life to mean something. Not to say, oh, y'all, DeRay was this and that. Was. No, that I expected somebody's life. And yes. that my life yes. was <laughs> Yes, yes. I'm not messing with you, Stacia. Stacia, I'm right. You, you whack. Let's everybody to join. Sorry. Somebody just in. Sorry. How y'all doing? Uh, hey, I'm time. Hey, Stage. <laughs> Share it. Sorry, guys. Um, somebody, when people call in, they, I need to, everyone to understand when I'm on face on Thursdays at the same time, don't try to call mm -hmm. me. I'm all yes, yes. I'm going to, I'm every Thursday I'm going to be <laughs> doing this. Don't call me between 7:30 and 8:30. Right. Do not call right. me. Let this be a message to everybody. Do not call me. Don't send me any messages unless you want to send a message about the show. Otherwise, wait right. until after 8:30 before 7:30. Hey George. So yes, um yeah, our mindset, definitely our mindset um I see I'm um, busy was just on here, a friend of mine. Um, we love you too. No, she don't love us. 
Love is an actual word. Boo. <laughs> Oh, she had to preach. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, but changing our mind. Send us your schedule so we can come support you. Yeah, but I'm changing. I'm <laughs> changing our mindset uh, definitely. And that, especially this heat, I have to be very conscious. And this Honey. my mind. Woo. <laughs> Yeah, so Listen, definitely... what was that 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 time that wait a minute that time we um uh yeah I gotta put that notice out there too but that time when we were driving it was so hot and we was like oh right now I could just rip my shirt off oh then you we know if our mind wasn't off. right that was we was coming yeah, home well, from, right we was coming home from um Keith's funeral and we was in oh, Tia's truck, and we right. did drive it with our yes, bras. That's yes. all we had on. Yes, yes, yes we did. She had no air. Yes, yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, as hot as it is today, uh, I gotta remind myself uh, that this ain't the same situation. You right, know, and I you can't at work. Do the same thing. You, you at know? work. I can do so it because I'm home. Yeah, yeah, yes. Hey, everybody, all those that are coming in, we're talking about right now, we're just talking about our mindset and changing our how, our thought process. Love you, Lonnie. How yes. we think, how yes. we think, how we, um, that, it, that's the start of everything. How you mm. get up in the morning, the first thought in your mind, if it's negative, if it's positive, you can change it. If it's negative, you can change it to make it a better day. But if you already yes. waking up, oh, I'm tired of one again, I... If you already waking up like that, the rest of the day is gonna be shot. So you have to be hey, careful. Daniel. So speak, try positive things. If it hasn't been yes. working, if you're doing the negative stuff, try the positive. Call me crazy. Right. right. <laughs> it might be better. <laughs> hey, <Cheryl. laughs> oh my gosh. No, but that that's so true. Cause I like even Thank you. not even when you look at the people that you're talking to, like as far as like the different relationships and things, you have to you have to make sure that your mind is right because you go in with your conversation on one level and they on a whole another level. Right. Y'all y'all not meeting. Y'all 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 not on the same wavelength. And you know, we always say like, oh, we gotta be them. No, sometimes it's us because huh. we ain't got our thoughts together. A lot of the, most of the time it's us. <laughs> We yeah, are yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of telling it's somebody else's fault, stop it. It's you. If every situation you go mm -hmm. to and it's the same, what's the common denominator? You. Right. You right. Know? Right. Um, what are you saying about um a relationship? Woo! You know, I I fought a lot of people, <laughs> uh, guys that I was. I fought a lot of them that I uh, while I'm single, and that's not. Honestly, it's not their fault. It, it was me because I accepted it. So it's not that it's their fault. It was my fault, number one. I had to take number one responsibility because I allowed it. And so, therefore, I can't keep saying it was their fault. It's their fault. It was my choice, right. so I'm learning. Well, and Hey, Pamela. Yes, and, and not just... Not just your choice, but also our expectations. You know, we get into a relationship and we be like, oh, they giving us this. Oh, but they really, they want to give us that. So I'm going to just sit around. I'm going to wait for them to reach that, that potential because I see it in them and I know it's going to come out and I know it's going to work. Nah, they giving you what they got. And, and, and a lot of times, you know, we expect love to be this, you know, what I see in the movies or what other people experience, if you truly experience what you see on TV, you realize you can't, you can't experience that. That, That's that me. ain't even you. It ain't enough or it's too much. That is me, honey. <laughs> I, you can't tell me my life is a, not a Hallmark movie. Honey, Hallmark Lifetime movie. Honey, I've been looking at the, I'm like, why can't nobody love me like that? It's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so uh, he I'm left, such, he, I'm so like that. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, you be I'm, like, oh, he left his job just for me. That that's all I needed. And then you like, why he leave his job? No, I right. need you to go to work. You know, because the homework movie. Right. I ain't taking care of no man. You know, 
Come on, that's the truth, Michelle. But even even now, being in my solitude, I have to be careful. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I said this to somebody while I was home. I said, I have to be careful now, even my thinking while I'm alone, because when I do, when he, he does come, I don't want to be single-minded again. Because that's really that what happened with me and Jeffrey. And right. One, yeah, of yeah. The, one of the things that happened with me and Jeffrey is that I was still single-minded. And mm. uh, Reverend John Howard, Reverend John Howard Sr. had to, he told me that. I said, you know what? <laughs> you speaking truth. I went and, you know, yeah, right. I wanted to be married. Right. And I, I went to the wrong thing. I, went, I wanted to be married. Why do you want to be married? Because I was 28. I thought it was the time. And I went into this thing. Microphone check. Oh, there we go. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, it was. No, it's not you. It's saying me. You hear? Oh, okay. You hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you right. now. Yeah, yeah I hear you now. Now, I'm not even moving. I don't have the thing in my head, but it's saying, you know, the service is so crappy sometimes. Anyway, um, mm. yeah, I don't want to go and I want to be a whole person, a whole deray for whatever right. situation it is. So versus me being, I'm just single minded, I'm this, versus just being a whole deray, whatever that calls for. If it calls me to be a wife, a, a single, whatever, that is a part of deray, but it's not, my mind is not just honed in on this one section where I'm no good for nothing else. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, no, I, I get it because that's, you know, I, I feel like that's me in a, in a lot of situations. I know that's me in a lot of situations as far as, you know, expecting so much from everybody else and trying trying to please them so much that I lose what it is I really want and what I right. want to achieve. Because if I don't know what I want and what I want to achieve out of the relationship, I'm right. definitely not going to be able to benefit or get or put anything into it, really. Right. You know, I had one of my exes said to me, and I took offense, but he was like, do you really think you wife material? And I was like, oh, wait a minute. But then I had to think about it a little bit later. And I realized, right. I realized that part of that statement was true, you know, because I'm not, I, I wasn't in a submissive mindset to just let him or let anyone at that time handle certain things from me. I felt right. like if my hand wasn't in it or if I wasn't, you know, making it work, then it wasn't going to be right, you know. And that came from being independent for so long, for, you know, being that single mom, being being single, period. Even when I was in relationships, I still was single. Right. And so having that and then taking it into a relationship where I thought, you know, we were going to that level of marriage and that, right. you know, when, when we finally decided to come clean with each other because neither one of us was happy but because we wanted to you know oh let's you know it must be me i'm gonna make it work no be honest communicate right. stay what's really on your mind right and realize that uh there's some things missing you know right so then, all right, well, so that that all, helped me two things i want to let's um hit on what pam said pam said it is sometimes so easy to fight our own limitations then it seems hard to change a negative mindset once it takes hold. Yeah, it, it, when you when you believe the negative so long, so long, it does sometimes it becomes a part of you. But then we have to know, acknowledge it, that you recognize that that's what's happening, and then begin to change daily, even by moment, how you're thinking. Right. That you can't right. come you can't come out of it. You can't lose that hold. But it's gonna take work, cause you took it. You know, we accepted it so long. It just takes work at changing that negative mindset. It really takes work, 
And it becomes, the negative mindset becomes a comfort, like a, a little security blanket to us. I just saw, there's a movie out. I just saw the, uh, the, the verb, the, the synopsis of it. This man, he's happy. He's happiest when he's unhappy. Isn't that crazy? Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It, yeah, that I, is. I've met people that where they, the more miserable they are, the more pleased they are, the more com uh, complacent they are, the right. more satisfied Comfortable. they are. Yes. It's yeah, yeah. Sad yeah, yeah. That we become, we can allow yeah. that to be be our norm because we accept it because we right. just accepted that every, every everything bad is going to come and I'm just going to accept. No, we don't have to accept that. So we have to learn to change our thinking. All right. So I'm going to go no. to. One can, so, one okay, minute. yeah. Can we address Sherelle? Yeah. So, do y'all think the need for women to be independent cut them their self off from being a wife? Um, some women. Yeah, it's, some. it's it's not everybody. We not. Yeah, it's not everybody. Yeah. But some, some yeah. have this. I because we have we know people. Like that, they so independent, and they have made the man look like beneath them, like a dog, a puppy dog, and they treat him like that. And then when he goes dip out, then you want to be mad and angry because what? Because he's finding affection somewhere else, or she's finding affection somewhere else. We have to be, I'm telling you, our actions affect those around us, especially when you're connected to somebody. Yes. And you want, so you have yes. to be careful. Yes. We can be independent. I am woman, hear me roar. Rawr. Right, but right. be careful that mm -hmm. roar, when lions roar, it's a warning. And, and usually and when, right. when they roar, people stay away. So be careful the roars that you're giving on her. Because we want people, if we want people to be attracted to us, be careful mm -hmm. how sharp and rough and mm, domineering we can be. Because I know I'm, I'm preaching to myself. Well, I'm, I'm and I'm also going to, and I also want to say that for some people, there there are some people that have actually met their mate in mm -hmm. their independent state, but because their mate was prepared and able to handle that. They were able to curve it and and work it out together to create that That's match. Nice. So when it's your match, when when you when it's your match, they're going to work with you. It's it's going to it's going to get there. But you just have to be open. And and I also want to say um, back to what Pamela was saying. I, I look at a cruise ship. When a cruise ship is turning, you can't tell it is turning right away. True. Like when when a, a huge a huge boat when it when it's True. turning, True. And the people on the boat never really notice that the boat is turning until at least a the, couple of guess, minutes. If I mean a couple of know. hours, basically, yeah, because like it's so subtle. And right. that's us. As we change, as we continue to speak newness in our life, as we continue to speak um, a, a better out um, outlook for ourselves, we are changing. But because we're so close. We don't notice the change. If you were on the dock, you could see the boat turning better right, than right. you being right there on the boat. Right. So as, as you being a person, as you are changing, you're not going to see it right away. But if you just have that faith to know that what I'm doing is bettering myself, right. what I'm saying is, is, is healing myself. Right. And in that process, you realize later on, like, oh, shoot, I remember when. Right. You know, and then that's when you like a lot of times, a lot of times we say like, you know, well, how, how did you change so quickly? Actually, it wasn't a quick change. Right. It's just that as as I changed, I got a little bit more confidence in, in my step and in, in what I was doing that it became more uh, apparent to those around me. But, but and, and also with your turning, be careful that when you turn, you have to you have to learn to go straight. Because if you keep turning yeah. and turning, you want to go head back to the same way. You know yeah, what I'm right. saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yes, you got to turn true, and go another true. direction versus keep turning and turning and turning and go back where you came from. You know? True. So it's a, You're right. There's a lot of things, you know, great 
great, great, great things that we can take, but we also have to activate. You know, we can get little nuggets and yes. run with it. But with that nugget, you have to allow it to mm -hmm. grow to become the better person. This is why I, this is why I love the unzip melodies. Cause I feel like um even as we're discussing and talking, it's not that we're telling people this is how you gotta be. No, this is how we 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 preach it to ourselves. Yes. We, we're we're talking making us. a change, right? Honey. We're making Woo. a change. We just want you to be a part of the process. Uh so uh yes. But I, I I love that. I I love that because we are we see the group. I find yay, Farron. <laughs> Because it's early in the morning. <laughs> that is oh, my wow. crazy awesome. brother that I went to go see. He's crazy. If y'all can follow him, he's awesome. He's an awesome. That's a prophet. <laughs> a true prophet. And uh, true. And, Honey. And an awesome um, psalmist. Oh, I mean, that's my brother. That's my blood. Blood. I have to remind people. Some people are like, oh, you're so sorry. Yes. No, no, no. A lot of people attach themselves to us, but they're not blood. It's okay. It's okay. But I do have blood people, blood siblings that I, and when I say blood, I'm considering Sean and Kevin also my blood. Yes, yeah. That's my blood. But I, um, I'm glad you're enjoying Latanya. I really am glad. I missed you this while I was at home, too. Uh, what, what else are you saying? And more, I mean, what else we say? Uh uh. What? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait a minute. It is such a relief. No, you're not to... alone. No, honey. That's why yeah. I, this is the main thing. I, I I really believe that Lord has pressed upon my heart to do this because so many people feel that they're by themselves going through the same. No, we, we all going through this together. We all. Yes. I, I try to tell people all the time, what you're going through in your life is not necessarily for you. There's some things just to bring you through. But also for other people, for us to tell our testimony, it is important to tell your testimony so yes. others know that they can make it also. There's so many people that have died feeling like they were all by themselves. But I'm here to let you know right. you're not by yourself. And just because you haven't gone through right. it doesn't mean that... You can't be sympath or empathetic about it or help someone and give them a encouraging word or, or pray with them or be with them until they get through it. I'm not, I've never been a drug addict, like in heroin and cocaine, never, ever tried it. But I have been addicted to pleasing. I can't even say sex. Mm. I just say addicted to pleasing people where if I didn't buy, feel like I was pleasing them, I felt that I wasn't being satisfied. And then that's, so we can, we can right, just speak right. from our, our experiences. And that's a serious conversation right there. What the, oh, that's yeah. I wanted to talk about submission. The, the whole thing about, uh, yeah. no, okay. I, I just remember what I had, knew I had something to talk about. What? The serious conversation. Oh, no, no, I was just going to say, I was, I was just going to say that is, that's definitely a serious conversation um, in reference to being addicted to pleasing and, and wanting others around you to be so satisfied that that's where you get your satisfaction from, that you, you wind up losing what, what's really important to you. You know? Yes. Baron, awesome. say that. Awesome. Awesome. He's I confused it with yes. servitude. Servanthood. Servanthood. Servant. Um right. But there's a time that we are actively serving. Mm -hmm. But there's another time that we just please trying to please people to make them feel I don't know, to say, hey, you did a great <laughs> You know You know, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I definitely agree with it. Yeah, I, because if you, if you, 
I'm there. I'm there. Oh God. And now I, I get it because there are times when you push and you're not you're not doing it because of and, and, and yeah, that's the thing. Thank you, Lord. So it's it's all about your intent, like your heart. Why why are you doing this? Am I doing this because I want to receive something from you? And am I doing this to please you because I need to be satisfied? Or am I mm. doing this because I know that it's something that's needed for the kingdom or are needed to, to be a blessing to someone else? And I think that's part of that thin line that you were talking about. Right. And that sadly is usually the pleasing part versus the servant. Uh, serving for ministry for the kingdom and that's the sad part of it and I think a lot especially these days I feel like it's more pleasing the flesh and the the man and the woman versus the God in the man mm -hmm. and in the woman and um, right Pamela yes you know, please, it can't be taken the wrong way when you try to please and can't be taken the wrong way yeah, so and, and it's not necessarily, yes, yeah, it can be. And people can take advantage of it. Like, that's what Pam was saying about the narcissistic, right. narcissistic people. They can, they recognize, oh, this one, one person wants to please, so I'm going to let them keep on pleasing, and they're not giving anything back. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want to go back mm -hmm. to, we, talk, we had mentioned, you had mentioned submission um, earlier. Yes, and, um, and I was. Some people feel like submission is another a negative form. It's not necessarily a negative form. It's all about how you think about it. Um, submission, there is power in submission. Also, it is. is. It is when you allow because we all have our roles. Sometimes we'll be ahead, and sometimes we'll be the one supporting. And it's not, when you're submitting to someone above you, doesn't mean that it's making you less than or that you're something that somebody, a crush on you. No, it's the fact that at that present time, you are submitted to someone's authority. If you cannot follow, how will you ever know how to lead? So therefore, there's a time Correct. that you must submit. Yes, yes. And teaching us, yes. and it will teach us how to be great leaders. So... Follow and learn. Don't follow and talk and, you know, and miss the thing. That's why I have a little issue with some adjutants that I've seen in life that you're so close under the power and of the man and the woman of God. There should be a residue that comes off of you that changes your life. If it's not changing your life, you are not in servanthood. Or maybe that maybe maybe that's you are mm. a person you are a pleaser. You are not receiving mm. the the dew, the oil that ran down areas. You're not there should be signs that you are under such anointing. Either, either the person you following and, and assisting is not anointed or you missing the, the mark. Either right. Or. Right. Can we can we look at Pamela because this is something really serious that that we need to touch on because I experienced this Pamela time um, honestly I, I really felt like this was me I was on a uh, on a record because mm -hmm. I just kept going around and and I kept being in the same situation with different people but I kept being the same so for me and I can only tell you for me when I found out. I had to ask God first, what was it that I was supposed to do in that situation? Not, not just opening myself up to that person so that they could take advantage. But before that even happened, I had to say, Lord, what is it that you want me to do? Right. And how do you want me to go forward in it? So that that way I can already prepare myself to be in a place to be a help to someone when that time came about. And to be honest, I'm not just talking about men. I'm talking about men and women who took advantage of me in different situations. Right. Okay. But um, 
w- I, once I asked God that, then I also had to look at the situation and say, Lord, is this person the one you want me to help? Because everybody is not on my, um, uh, is not for me to help. Okay. You know, sometimes we see people and we know they're in need and we're like, I want to reach out. I want to do it because you have a good heart. You just want to reach out and be a support. But everybody is not for you to help. Every situation you're not supposed to get into. I think it's a time. So you have to ask God. Like, It's a time, a timing thing also. It's a timing thing. I believe we Mm. should help. But you're not always supposed to stay and help. Sometimes you just mm. boom and keep on moving. The problem is that we stay over our assignment time. Okay. Okay. And I believe okay. that's a lot of things. It's a, yes, we should give. We should do. But be careful how long you stay in that situation. Of and that's what that's what I want to say was before. I feel like we should do, but don't stay in it. Okay. If God didn't tell you to stay. And you and you know that's the say you, you ask question, how do you know God? You know when it's time when things start getting like this. It's you already know it's time to go. We just feel like oh God, you put me ah uh, well. Sometimes we just we have to let go because if you don't let go, you let you start enabling people, and they won't do for themselves. They will never learn how to walk because you keep because guess what, Michelle. Pam, you still gonna be there, that kind of thing. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I yeah, I agree with that because I, I know that for me, the last situation I was in, I started having questions and thoughts and like in the midst of me doing certain things, I was like, you know, hmm. But I would still keep doing what I was doing because I felt like, well, that's the right thing for me to do. But after a while I started questioning to the point that I said, okay, God, um, why, why am I doing this? Or Mm -hmm. am I supposed to be here? Or is, is everything right? Because I feel like something's off and that, that feeling, you know, like they say, trust your gut, trust trust, trust your gut. I just told somebody that today, trust your gut. That gut is usually the Holy Spirit telling you. Yes, (laughs) yes, yes. So yeah, and it's good. Right. Thank y'all for introducing right. Michael. I see, you know, he said he was hard-headed to his leaders and end up in bad situations. And that's right. And sometimes mm. we can, when people, mm. then Lord gives us people, we don't know how to treat them. And, and so we've been on both sides of it, you know, yeah. people helping and being yes, healthy. Yes. Not knowing when, even when we, we have to push, even though you know the people there gleaning from you, you have to say, okay, now it's time for you to step out. You need to do. Woo. Okay, Ray, I just realized what time it was, but before we go, I know we don't usually do this, but I think today, can you pray for them? Can you pray for all of us? I know we don't usually end in prayer, but can you pray for us today? Right, because it's not a Christian TV show. <laughs> I know, but but no, I no, we all okay. need a little no, strength, I we, you know. I get it. Lord, we thank you for this evening and this afternoon that you called us together to learn from each other, to share our experiences, to allow us to grow even deeper and higher in you. I thank you for everyone that's been here listening, those that have contributed, and I pray that it's a seed that would be planted and allow them to grow and that we will continue to water and prune them so they can grow even further higher and that we may be examples to other people everywhere we go everywhere we go God that they can make it regardless of the situations in their lives that they can make it and help us to know that we are more than enough that you loved us so much even in our worst states our ugly disgusting states you still loved us because it was something good help us to see that good help us to see ourselves through your eyes lord that we can learn to love ourselves even the more that we would know how to love our sisters and our brothers teach us god teach us so that we will be effective in this walk effective in our Thank you.
for seeing the flourishing of it. And I thank you for the manifestation. I pray for Latanya and her healing, continued healing to heal her heart and her spirit. Encourage her, God, that she can be the light that you need her to be wherever she is. Touch Michael. Touch everyone here, God, that's been on a Keisha and her upcoming conference. God, I pray that m many blessings and many things that in the thought process that you're changing and allow us to believe that we can do and that we will do it. God, we give you all honor. We give you all glory. Thank you, Jesus, for all things. And help us to survive this week, Jesus. Please help us to survive it. Yes, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Oh, yeah, yes, Lord. I had to move my seat so I can get in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> so hey. this is what we do every Thursday. Every Thursday. I don't care where we Every are, Thursday. We're going to be here. I hope that you're here. Keep sharing it. Keep telling your friends to t t tune in. Put it in your calendars and remind yourself that we're going to be here. Even yes, if you're not yes. here on Thursday, you can always catch the re um, replay. But we're always going to be here. Thank you so much. We love you. Michelle, yes. again, love you so very much. Yes. Keep burning up Philadelphia. And I pray God's blessings upon your life, your job, <laughs> even because there's so much more for you. I really, there's so much more for you, Shell. And I'm looking for you. I don't want you to get comfortable and settle, but I want you to keep blowing up. Blowing up. What time? Oh, I every hear you, Thursday. And I'm listening. All right, I love you. I gotta go. All right, 130, oh. 1.30 um, Eastern time, 7.30 here on uh, I forgot what this central time is. The Germany time. Yeah, one <laughs> one thirty to 2. Okay, so we overtime today. I gotta go. What? Yeah, go. Love y'all. Keep walking. Bye bye. Um. Yeah. So we are here. Yes. Yeah, so that is our time every Thursday. So let your people know we are here. Um. And sometimes we we only you usually go thirty. We try to go thirty minutes because Michelle's on lunch break. But sometimes we go over. And it's okay. If y'all have questions, comments, concerns, we always here. Inbox us, and we can talk further. Hey, D, you was calling me in my session. I had to tell you, don't call me on Thursdays between this time. Uh, but um, look back at what we talked about earlier. Uh, but it's a great thing. We talk about our mindset, changing our mindset. It all starts here. Let's do it. Let's do it. We can do what we need to do. Let's change our mindset. I love you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Peace.